Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to CryptoZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we're currently sitting at $2.27 trillion. We're down 4.5% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 39.1%. Uh, but today, guys, I want to look at none other than Cardano. Alright guys, if we're looking at Cardano's price right now, Cardano is currently trading at $2.23. It's up 17% in USD comparative in the last 24 hours. It's also up 24.1% in BTC comparative in just the last 24 hours. Uh, Cardano currently ranks on Coin Market Cap and on Coin Gecko at that top fourth spot. Market cap right now is seventy-two billion dollars. Meanwhile, twenty-four hour trading volume is fifteen billion dollars. Zooming out and looking at the bigger picture for Cardano, guys, in just the last year alone, Cardano is up a. 4,200% in just the last two weeks, we're up 65%. So everything is starting to look very, very nice for Cardano. But now let's jump in and deep dive into the charts to see what exactly is going on and where we could go in the immediate short term. So let's jump in, shall we? All right, guys, if we're looking at Cardano's price right now, this is absolutely insane. If you guys watched my video yesterday, I did say, guys, $2.40 is the next target considering the amount of hype there really is a building up for Cardano right now. A lot of speculation going on between Cardano and Tesla, and that has a lot of, uh, you know, uh, people getting excited. Uh, so uh, I said two dollar forty cents is very possible, and it could break out in the next uh, you know twenty four hours, and we did just that. So you guys can see we literally, <laughs> we literally almost touched two dollar forty cents, but we were unable to, and we retraced uh, since then. But this is absolutely insane, guys. And you know this goes to show this is a perfect example right in front of everyone that you know holding. And having patience is your number one key to follow. And, um, you know, as long as you have done your due diligence and research, you know, pay and invest where you can afford to lose. Patience is your number one key. As you guys can see, this was the accumulation zone that we were in for so long. You won't believe how many people, you would not believe how many people exit a Cardano around these levels because due to the fact that, you know, a lot of people were saying, Cardano is boring, it's trading sideways, it's not going up to the moon in straight one shot. That does not happen. I know there's a lot of new people coming into the space, guys. We have to keep things realistic into crypto. We could definitely see, you know, consolidation periods for months. And we saw that for uh, Cardano and a lot of people got, uh, you know, um, impatient. And then, you know, what they did was they exit and they moved to different coins. And I'm pretty sure now they are kicking themselves uh, uh, for um, you know doing that and looking at Cardano's price right now as you guys know there's a lot of exciting news despite the fact that this Tesla news is coming out I agree with a lot of uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry I agree with a lot of people um, you know a lot of my viewers that we don't need Tesla to succeed but obviously there's speculation going on that that's why there's a lot of excitement building up right now uh, but we don't really need Tesla in order to succeed because Cardano what they are doing is uh, insane uh, you know um, and also there's Alonzo uh, hard for coming out a lot of people are um, you know excited about that smart contracts and you know um, Africa expansion a lot of people are getting excited about that and you know Cardano is the future of uh, blockchain that I believe will even surpass Ethereum as I always say so very exciting times ahead if you think about all that and you think long-term future guys you know holding is your number one key to follow as long as you have done your due diligence and research and have invested what you can afford to lose um, but yeah guys look at this this is absolutely insane and everything is playing out as I have planned for it to play out but let me just bring out the fib tool to see where we could possibly see cardano go in the immediate short term so right now guys <clears throat> we are seeing you know the buying pressure kicking in that we needed that i was talking about so um 
let's see how far we are away from its all-time high right now so we could just measure that real quick for you guys all right so if we're looking at that guys we are only five percent away from all-time high i would not even be surprised uh, for um, you know at the current momentum Cardano really is going I would not be surprised if Cardano even goes above two dollars fifty cents um, you know in the immediate short term uh, but expect some sort of retracement to occur because right now Bitcoin is uh, in um, you know unstable territory overall everything is looking very fine you know despite the fact market did see a mild correction because Bitcoin and right now obviously because of the Tesla speculation and Cardano there's a lot of uh, you know fuel coming into Cardano so that's why Cardano is holding very very well compared to some other altcoins uh, but if we go look at BTC's chart right now guys you guys can see BTC is literally holding on to the support level for Bitcoin which is at that you know as you guys can see um, we're literally over there at the $47,000 range and um, we're like I'm sorry like we're literally um, all just above it but you know, we could fall down further if Bitcoin decides to fall below this, guys. This is the next level of support at that 43,200 level. So right now, Bitcoin is not looking so good right now. It's still on the shaky end. So we always have to keep Bitcoin's price in mind. If it were to have a bigger, you know, pullback, then, you know, uh, I believe Cardano will have some sort of retracement occur for it 100%. And we should be prepared for that. But right now, it looks like it's ready to break another all-time high. I would not be surprised after I upload this video. We are already above $2.40. I would not be surprised about that at all. So uh, if we were to have some sort of retracement occur, I believe, you know, $2.07 should be a new level of support for Cardano around this level guys if we're unable to hold it um you know I would not be surprised if we come down to 180 and you know trade sideways around this range as well which would be bullish in my opinion guys very very bullish and um yeah everything is starting to look very very nice for Cardano guys so Cardano is not uh, you know uh, uh boring after all uh, you know <laughs> Cardano is not boring after all but um you know let's look at the bearish scenario if that were to play out let's say some major Bitcoin retracement were to occur because on crypto ZX channel you guys know what we do we keep it 100% realistic with you guys so if we were to see some sort of um, you know a major pullback for Bitcoin as you guys can see it is uh, on the shaky end right now um, if that uh, happened then you know we could uh, see some downward trend uh, I would not be surprised if we wick all the way down to this level which is that $1.70 if we're unable to hold then you know this is a level of support strong level of support at that 150 I do not see us falling below that I honestly do not see Cardano falling below that unless Bitcoin just like you know dips like 30 percent in a day then you know maybe but i do not see that happening right now but you know we always have to keep these things in mind uh and um you know always do take profits guys if you bought back up last year around this time and you must be sitting at a lot of profits and now if the money that you have you cannot afford to lose take some profits out but this is just a tip to you guys but you guys do what works for you at the end of the day but everything is looking so good for the cardano community and you know i would like to congratulate each and every one of you guys and you guys deserve all these gains and i believe this is just the absolute beginning for cardano uh but now if we're going on to uh, you know twitter this was uh, interesting i you know i just wanted to share with you guys so charles hoskinson said you know, he tweeted uh, something earlier and then, you know, uh, mayor of uh, Miami said, why, ho what hotel? DM me. And then Charles Hoskinson replied, this is why Miami is the best. So this is pretty cool. I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, but now let's look at the staking rewards. I had to share this with you guys. Guys, look at the amount of staked value right now Cardano uh, for Cardano. $53 billion is being staked right now. 53 billion dollars uh you know is being staked right now on cardano and you know guys the supply on the exchange is gonna is gonna get lower and lower uh, in my opinion because that there's already less coins on the exchanges right now because such a big amount is being staked so there's already uh you know such low supply on the exchanges right now in my opinion and we're about to see a supply shock this is just my own personal opinion we're about to see a major supply shock and if that happened 
you know, a basic economic rule like supply and demand kicks in. So when there's a very, very less supply, meaning less coins on the exchanges and there's such a high demand, everyone wants to get into Cardano because the FOMO is really there. Guys, sky is the limit. It's going to skyrocket. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're already starting to see that happen right now already for Cardano. But very, very exciting times ahead indeed for Cardano. And, you know, <clears throat> obviously there's the speculation going on, as I have mentioned in the, my previous video as well. But that's, you know, about the Tesla and uh, Cardano. It's not, you know, it's not confirmed. You know, it's not 100% like, like you know, uh, confirmed that it's going to happen. So we always have to keep that in mind, guys. Like, you know, we always have to keep that in mind. And, you know, if uh, Tesla comes out today and to announce, you know, we're going to be accepting Dogecoin. There's a lot of new money coming in specifically about Tesla Cardano hype. So if that happened, let's we could see some sort of retracement. So we always have to be prepared for that. But like I said, long term, we do not need Tesla in order to succeed, uh, you know, uh, with Cardano. Cardano is the future blockchain and I cannot stress that enough. And I'm a huge believer on Cardano. You guys know that and I know it is going to take over Ethereum. I'm very, very you know, confident about that because Charles Hoskinson was a co-founder of the Ethereum, if you guys don't know, and he's building something that, you know, will be way superior than Ethereum. And we're already seeing that if you compare Cardano with Ethereum side by side, tech wise, Cardano wins by a mile. That's why we're seeing so much interest coming in from developers now as well, because they are moving from Ethereum and looking at other blockchains such as Cardano, Polkadot, Solana to develop because Ethereum has its own issues. Uh, but obviously, don't get me wrong, Ethereum is not a bad project. I love Ethereum as well. But, you know, I do not see, um, I see the future for Cardano over Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum is more of a store of value now. It's like a, you know, asset class. It has built up its credibility over the years. So a lot of institutional interest is coming in on Ethereum. And, um, you know, it's more of a store, you know, store of value like um, Bitcoin, in my opinion now. But if we're comparing tech, Cardano is way better without a doubt. But with that being said, guys, you know, let's look at the actually let's look at the Google Trends. Google Trends are heading towards its all time high as well. So very, very good sign does not surprise me whatsoever. But with that being said, guys, I think I am going to wrap up today's video around here. Thank you so much for all the support that you guys show me each and every one of you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so, so much. And, um, you know, keep supporting me. Road to 20,000 subscribers. And this is just the absolute beginning. And uh, stay safe out there. Safety comes first. Health comes first. Family comes first. And everything else absolutely comes later. With that being said, it's been CryptoZX and peace out.